Hi, my name is Thorin Goodkind, and I am a good and kind person. And yes, Goodkind is really my last name. But if you play me a game of chess, I am a mean kind of person. Um, today I'm going to go over one of my games that I played in the Mechanics Tuesday Night Online Rapid Tournament. And this was the last round, so this was the fifth round. I was black, and my opponent is Bob the Flaw. I don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. Um, anyway, he went d4, and then I go d5, just to get a pawn in the center. He goes c4, and then I go c6. The idea is if this pawn takes, then my pawn can take it back. And that's good. Knight to f3. Then I go here. So, um, I play a special format in chess called the stone wall. So if you're a beginner, I don't recommend you play um, e6, but I know what I'm doing, so I'm comfortable of playing e6. He goes there, and then I go f5. That's what the point is with the stone wall, is that I have um, a pawn on f5, pawn on e6, and a pawn on um, d5. This is just a stone wall formation. Um, it's just another way you can set up um, the position. Bishop goes there, I go knight to f6, pawn goes to e3, I go here, and then the knight goes there. I castle, and then bishop goes to d3, and then I move the knight. Um, and then I don't like how my bishop is on d6, and the reason why is because, um, I want to get my knight out, and I want to move it to d7. But here's what the problem is. If I move the knight to d7, notice that my bishop is not protected anymore. Because right now my queen is protecting the bishop right now. So if I move my knight here, the queen is not protecting the bishop. So therefore, that's why I move the bishop back to e7. And then the idea is to um, get the knight over to d7. Okay, pawn goes to f3. Pawn is attacking the knight. I need to do something. So he took um, his knight. He takes it back with the pawn. And then I go here. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Then he goes there. I take it. And then I go here. Okay, so he moves the queen here, the queen and bishop are on the same thing I go. I go here, and then now um, what he's doing is he's being aggressive, so I go here. Mm, pawn goes here. Pawn takes, and I go here. I think he has a, um, I think he's in a better position, by the way. What goes there? And then he like, really submitted his bishop, okay. Hmm. Pawn goes up, pawn there, I go here. He goes there, he's threatening to take that pawn, so I go here, then I go here. Um, yeah, pawn goes here, now the bishop and pawn are attacking this pawn, so I decided to go here. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Okay, so this is interesting because now he's um, threatening to win a pawn. So I take it, he goes there, and then I um, go here. The reason why I go here is because 
um, if pawn takes it, then my queen can go here, and it's checking the king. So that's why he goes back. Um, I made a mistake. So I was looking at the computer. I should have, um, my rook should have taken the pawn on c3. And then rook takes, and then my queen um, takes the pawn. And then I win um, the piece back. So that's what I did, but I didn't see the tactic. I went here instead. And then I took it, took, trade, queen. I go here. Um, bishop's protecting the rook, so that's why he moved there. Here. Um, and look at this. He only has five seconds left. And this is really crazy. When you don't have that much time, you can't find... I mean, it's really hard to find the best moves. And um, I went here, and... He had five seconds. He should have just taken my rook, but he didn't. So crazy. Okay. So I go here. Queen goes here. I um took his pawn, and I am up a pawn. But right now, this is still very like. How do I like break in? Um, it's really unclear, and plus, again, I have to be careful about my time, too. King t um, attacks the book, I have to do something about it. I go here. Um, and then... We keep on going like this, and then um, it just happens to be a draw. So again, a lot of the crazy things can happen when you don't have that much time, or if your opponent doesn't have t that much time. So I hope that you enjoyed um, this commentary, and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I upload a video every single day. And um, come back tomorrow. Thanks for watching.